Hey guys, this is Hassan here from Hashtag, and today I'm covering a device that is quite special. How is it special? Well, it's the top of the line tablet that is offered by Samsung, Tab S2. Let's see what it has for you. Let's get right in. So guys, I just want to get the tech specs out of the way first. The Samsung Galaxy Tab S2 is powered by the Exynos 7 chipset that is a 1.9GHz Cortex-A57 big core combined with a 1.7GHz Cortex-A53 core along with 3GB of DDR4 RAM and 32GB storage as a base model and which is expandable up to 128GB via micro SD card slot. The rear facing camera is an 8 megapixel shooter with an f1.9 aperture and it can record up to quad HD video while the front facing camera is a 2.1 megapixel shooter and it's also f1.9 and it can record up to 1080p and also the screen on the front is a 2048 by 1536 8 inch display that equates to a PPI of 320. Now let's show you the dimensions and the port placement of this tablet. On the top there is just one microphone and on the bottom there are two stereo speakers along with the headphone jack, another microphone and the USB port. Now there is a front facing camera and also the two sensors along with the receiver if you have the LT version. And on the side there are two slots depending on you whether you have which version and one is the micro SD and one is the SIM slot along with the two keys that is the power and the volume keys. On the back there are these fasteners that you connect the covers to. Now this is much thinner than the Tab S, it's 5.6 millimeters, and it feels much better on the back and it feels relatively lighter than the Tab S because it actually is lighter than the Tab S. Now let's get into the gaming speed and the software. Now the software it's running is the Android 5.1.1 Lollipop and sadly it hasn't received the Marshmallow as of yet but the Lollipop is the newest touch whiz and it runs pretty smooth, it doesn't lag and uh, all also as you can see the switching between apps and just opening apps as a whole is uh, very smooth as you can see I'm opening a few apps over here and multitasking is just a breeze as you can see the apps are not being reloaded there is no memory management issue as there is in some of Samsung high-end phones there are two backlit capacitive keys and the fingerprint scanner which is much better than the cumbersome swipe one from the S and now getting to some gaming as you can see a lot of action on crossy road goes just fine without lagging and even more heavier games like asphalt 8 are done on this processor like a champ because they really should and it has such a power and as you can see even lighter games and more fun games such as hill climb racing will run with, uh, with it and they will cause absolutely no problems so that is real nice in my opinion now the screen test and the video and text test as you can see the tablet has a beautiful display and it can view up to 1440p video in youtube and it looks absolutely beautiful it have to deal with those black bars but i think that is absolutely fine and this uh, tablet is meant to be used in portrait mode for reading which it does absolutely without any problems and the text is crystal clear and even browsing through some social media is pretty smooth as it should be with all that horsepower as you can see I'm scrolling through Instagram and it's pretty smooth now getting to the camera test and the photo video test as you can see we have the same camera from the S6 but not with the same modes obviously it has a manual exposure control and it has various modes and there are more downloadable and it also has a basic pro mode with basic ISO changing and exposure and white balance changing functionalities and you can obviously download more from the Samsung store and that's quite nice and the camera is much better than the Tab S but it lacks the LED flash for some reason. The front camera is nice outdoors but uh, when you go indoors it uh, lacks in comparison with the outdoors performance but it still is definitely usable but in low light it's just horrible and I don't recommend you to use it in low light unless you're that guy and also the video looks uh, exceptionally well as you know it can record in up to quad HD resolution which is downscale over here and it takes some pretty phenomenal photos 
and videos with the back camera as long as you provide it with the adequate lighting situations and as you can see in adequate lighting the photos come out absolutely brilliantly and even when indoors they are acceptable but when you move to extreme low light scenarios you should just put it down take your smartphone out and take pictures with that because it's terrible and the front camera's video is actually pretty acceptable outdoors but again indoors it will get terrible and uh, not much reviewers have mentioned this but this tablet has a protective metal sheet on top of the lens so it won't scratch now getting to the battery life department now to achieve a design this thin samsung had to make some cutoffs that's why the battery is just 4000 mah that is smaller than the tab s which was 4900 mah but don't be fooled because this tablet gives me around 6 and a half to 7 hours of screen on time quite regularly and samsung has done here something here to optimize the battery so well that when it's in standby mode it doesn't drain the battery now as in conclusion i would like to say that in my opinion and do remember this is my opinion you may have a different one in my opinion this tablet is the best tablet money can buy it's a bit on the expensive side because it costs around 400 dollars but it definitely does deliver its price so i guess you should go with this tablet if you have the money hi guys that's been it and i'll see you guys in the next one peace and high five